1990, a high-profile movie based on the book, Not Without My Daughter, was released. In it, Betty Mahmoudi told the story of how she and her young daughter Mahtoub were held against their will in Iran by a brutal father. 17 years ago, they fled both Iran and Syed Mahmoudi. He hasn't seen them since. I'm a beast and a criminal in the eyes of the world. I have been portrayed as a liar, a woman beater, and a kidnapper. Even the courts of law have not seen any need for my presence to divide my family and give away my belongings. I have been denied the right to see my daughter for 15 years or even to talk to her. My sin, my only sin, was that I loved my only child, my daughter, Mahtab Bahmudi. The child that has brought so much happiness to my life. The day she was born, on September 4th, 1979, around six o'clock at the hospital in Houston, Texas. It was the beginning of a new life for me. I noticed the full moon and I gave you the name, Mahtab Moonlight. In the book and film, Betty accused her husband of brutal domestic violence to explain her need to escape. You think you can lie to me? You think you can do anything in this house without me knowing about it? My family tell me everything. They're watching you all the time, so please don't be stupid. Mommy is You know, the last time I saw you was the day that I was answering a, an emergency call to the hospital. Remember, we were supposed to go to Aliza Days for a supper that night. They said they had brought a chemical warfare patient from the war front, and he has difficulty breathing. So I zoomed to the hospital. I intubated the patient, I connected him to the artificial breathing machine, and fixed him up, and so went back home. And I uh, came home, and I did not see you or your mom. And I realized that your mother had kidnapped you. That was the last time I saw you, about 16 years ago. I still can't believe that this was Betty making a film like that. Some things are true, yes. We, we were friends. <laughs> and um, our daughters were about the same age, Sammy and her, and they played together. And we had things in common with each other. Both of our husbands were Iranian. We were American here in this country. And we were like, in a sense, we were like sisters here. But she did write 
several lies about me here in this book, and not just about me, but many of the American women or the foreign women that live here, they were very upset with Betty for writing such a book. If my country and Iran have um, 20, more than 20 years of no relations, her book and her film served only to make the situation worse instead of to help the situation. Repairing the watch his daughter gave him before she disappeared helps keep her memory alive. But Dr. Mahmoudi dreams of the day when he will meet her face to face again. was able to uh, get through the internet, get uh, a number that I believe this is her phone number. But the question here is that I do not know what to ask her, what to tell her. You see, it's been 15 years almost since uh, I talked to her last. She was then six years of age, and um, she was a baby. Whether my top knows that I'm alive, I'm in Tehran, I'm a physician, practicing medicine, and she know all of these, or they have told her, for instance, I died in a war, or I had a heart attack. I wouldn't be surprised if they have made a new story, told my top about me, to make her forget about me. No father, okay? She is an orphan, but, thank God, she has a godfather. That's all. May I ask, uh, you have a telephone in your hand. Yes, I do. Are you afraid to make this telephone call? Pardon me? Are you afraid uh, to make this telephone call? I'm afraid, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not afraid, but I'm not sure who's going to pick up the phone on the other side of the line. I don't want to talk to anybody else. I just want my own matter. If I know that's Betty, I have nothing to talk to her about. I have nothing to talk to her. She knows she done me injustice. She done me wrong. She's treasoned me. Not me alone. I'm just one person. She has treasoned 60 million Iranians. She's told lies about everything that we do in Iran. Honest to God. Do Iranians take only one shower a year? But he says in her book. Do we eat worms? Do we eat uh, roaches?
message. I'll return it as soon as possible. Thank you. That was a recording, but where is voice?